Viking. The image that popped into your head when I said this word was probably one of big men with axes, big beards, and riding around on long ships taking issue with monks and unguarded treasure. You probably also don't have an issue with calling these two, let's call them Knut and Helga for instance, living in Norway in the 8th century, calling them Vikings too. Now, I'm going to look at the word Viking because actually recently I've been getting a few comments on a few videos, probably not from subscribers I imagine, but from others coming in, who are saying, I stopped watching your video when you referred to the Norse as Vikings. So, I think I need to address this in another video. So, the word Viking actually comes from the Old Norse word Fikinger. Now, the word Fikinger has several possible etymologies. One of them is person of the bay, Fik in Old Norse is bay. Another one is a person from Fiken, which is an area in sort of the south of Norway where it's thought that a lot of these early Viking raids would have come from. Now, the word Viking in English, however, does have a cognate in Old English, the language being spoken in the Viking Age in England at the time by the Anglo-Saxons. And this word was Weeking or Weeching. And this word in Old English is related to Vikinger, to the Old Norse. And in Old English, the context, it was used as a kind of Scandinavian raider or pirate. Now, the reason for this is obviously because the Anglo-Saxons encountered these people from Scandinavia initially as pirates and raiders, like when they attacked places like Lindisfarne or Iona with their raids. But in Middle English, by that time, this word weeching or weeking or something like it has completely disappeared from the language. And it's actually only in the 17th century that the word Viking is reintroduced into English by the Viking uh, Renaissance or the Viking Revival. And actually, Viking isn't from the Old English weeking, because otherwise, if it was, it would be a bit like witching. Probably that would be how it would have been derived today. But Viking with the V and the K definitely comes from the Old Norse form of the word. So Viking then, if we look at the Old English period, there is Weeking being used. Middle English, this has died out and it's actually been reintroduced from another language into modern English, which is where we get the word Viking and this will be important later on. Whenever I use the word Viking, most people are fine with it. I actually made a video about this a quite a while ago called the Viking question about what we should do with the uh, Viking and whether I should use the term Viking or not and in what context. But whenever I do, there are still people who go, oh, you can't use Viking there, or you can't use it in the title, or I clicked off the video, something like that. And this isn't me being annoyed at my subscribers, or um, this is more me trying to show why and why I think it's a bit pedantic and silly to sort of go off in a huff when I've used the word Viking. So my reason number one, the meanings of words change over time. If I were to say Hector is gay, then you're probably thinking that Hector is romantically attracted to other men. However, if I were to say Hector is gay 200 years ago, then Hector is simply a very happy chappy. So it's the same with the term Viking. If I use the term Viking in the Old English sense or the sense of the Old Norse in say the 10th century, then he would be a Viking and they would not be Vikings because they didn't go out to raid across the sea or to trade on an expedition. However, today, if I were to use the word Viking, then the meaning has changed sufficiently in society and in culture that generally pretty much everyone from the period from Scandinavia was considered a Viking uh, or is considered a Viking today. Reason number two, I'm speaking English. Now this is going to be important. I make videos obviously in English, I make them as well in Dutch, and I've even done one in Spanish a while back. But I don't make videos in Old Norse, quite obviously. I mean, it would be cool if I could, but it's gonna take a lot of learning. If you do want to speak Old Norse, by the way, check out um, Jackson Crawford. And if you're interested in more Old English stuff, then I highly recommend Learning the Old English. I will put links to both of those channels in the description. But if I was speaking Old Norse, then the only reason that the statement they are Vikings would be incorrect is if I was speaking to you in Old Norse or in Old English, both of which we have established I'm not, or if I was around in the early medieval period. And obviously I'm not in that either. I'm speaking modern English of the 21st century. And of course, I'm not speaking to any Vikings in the audience. I mean, I don't think I am. If there are any Vikings, then do be sure to comment below. But I'm pretty sure I'm speaking to people who understand English of the 21st century as well. Now, reason number three, the experts take. Now, all of these books by various experts, most of which I have read and would highly recommend if you're more interested in getting a fuller understanding of the period, 
use the term Viking throughout. They even actually mention the etymology of Viking, but they use it in the titles. So if the experts are using it, the people who dedicate their lives and time and have done all the research on these peoples are happy with using the term Vikings, but you, a keyboard warrior, being pedantic about me using Viking in a video is correct and has more knowledge on them than all of these experts? I mean, I'm not saying that experts on things have all the knowledge all the time and that you shouldn't challenge them. I challenge experts all the time in my videos, and I think as a good historian you should. But I'm just saying, if all of this weight of academic evidence is pointing one way and saying actually it's okay to use the word Viking in this context, then I think it's okay to use the word Viking in that context. So now some closing thoughts. If you can't use Viking, then you can't use Dutch either, because the whole premise of this argument is that Viking is being used in a different way to the original sense of the word Viking. However, then we can't use Dutch to describe Dutch people, because Dutch originally meant just anyone speaking a kind of German language. We can't use Scotland either, because the Scoti, they were people from Ireland. They were pirates coming across probably Dal Riedens. So Scotland is actually Ireland, so you can't use Scotland. You can't call me maybe anymore. You can't call anyone one on the telephone because of course when the word call was developed there were no telephones so you can't use that one either. As well as this if you're in the bar and you are hitting it off with Elizabeth of York you want flirting because flirting initially meant throwing something away, flicking something away as well because you don't want to get Henry VII going all Bosworth on your ass. As well, then, if you do that, then you can't use the word Viking anymore for these peoples, then I suggest you start learning all the place names in Norway, Sweden, and Denmark, where all of these people came from, because that's how they would have referred to each other, and if that's what you prefer, go ahead and be my guest. So yeah, essentially to wrap up, when I use the word Viking in my video, my English-speaking audience understands what I mean by the word Viking, and that's why I use it, because as well, you have to remember that it's not just history experts watching these videos. Some of you guys are incredibly knowledgeable and it's brilliant, but there are also people watching me who don't know that much about history. And if I start using all of these terms like Rogalanda uh, or um, Vestfoldermann or something like that, people just aren't going to know what I'm on about. Viking is the term that we use at this time that the most people understand. And I need to make my videos accessible as well as historically accurate. And it wouldn't even be accurate if I started using Viking, because as I said, I'm speaking contemporary 21st century English, not Old Norse. So thank you for watching. I realize this has been a bit of a ranty video, but I thought it might be fun. And uh, I thought that I could talk about some of these issues for some of the newer subscribers who went around when I released my Viking question um, video with the pollen about how people thought I should refer to the Vikings in these videos. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you have enjoyed this. Obviously, this has been a bit more of a rant, but um, do be sure to check in for some other stuff. Check out the other two channels in the description below and any other videos that you think you might be interested in. So thanks very much for watching. I'm History with Hill, but this has been my rant about why we should stop being pedantic about the use of the word Viking. Thank you very much and see you all very soon.